Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats from Pop Turnative here, speaking to Patrick Bryce and Henry Gaynor about there's someone inside your house coming to Netflix, uh, Netflix October 6th, part of Netflix and Chills. Thank you both for your time. Oh, yeah. Thanks, thanks for having us, man. Um, I'm really excited. I'm a big fan of your previous works. Patrick, the Creep movies are amazing. Henry, Shazam, I mean, unbelievable. Um, I'm just curious to start with Henry. Um, what was it like kind of working on a horror film like this where the landscape of horror right now is so massive and so big? What was it like? Uh, I, well, I think if I thought of it in that context, I would probably just par- be paralyzed. <laughs> uh, so I uh, I didn't think of, I, I don't write in coffee shops because I'll become self-conscious. So I, just, I just write it home. <laughs> So I just, the book really, really got to me and I couldn't stop thinking about it. And we built a, a pitch out from there. And so really it was just a story I wanted to tell um, in horror. It's my favorite genre. So I definitely watch a lot of those movies, yep. but I certainly didn't think about like what I'm competing with or what's out there. I just wanted <laughs> to tell this story a lot. And so- Absolutely. Yeah. And Patrick, obviously a lot different than the Creep films. Um, you know, the Creep films were such a slow burn. This film too has moments where it's a little bit of a slow burn but what were you what were some things in this film from a director perspective that you really wanted to kind of throw in there you have an amazing cast what were you really focused on that you had to get in this film yeah I mean I was just so taken with this script when it was first sent to me and I was kind of sold after the cold open like I I think the opening of the film is so strong and fun and you know raises so many interesting questions and and ones that I hope we're, we're gonna you know uh, you know, let audiences sort of like get like, audiences excited enough that they're going to like engage with the rest of the movie. So like, not only like did it have really great, you know, sequences in it, but also like it had really rich, deep emotional characters, which you don't necessarily find in a lot of genre stuff. And, and, and really, you know, was, was a film that I felt hinged on whether or not I was going to be able to, you know, get those characters and those relationships right like yeah. like if that wasn't gonna uh you know you know come to fruition then then all the you know the genre elements of the film weren't gonna work so you know that's that's where it was something where i felt like you know i saw like my own personal inroad into this as a filmmaker because like that's all we did with the creep movies they were these slow burn movies where they're you know sort of these like you deep, weird psychological profiles of this guy and trying to sort of like figure him out. And it's almost like, you know, uh, uh, an interactive experience for the viewer at times watching those movies. Um, And so, you know, like doing deep character work is something that I've always loved to do. And so to be able to do this on the scale with like young actors who are as talented as these guys were and were, you know, relative unknowns. And so they're like excited to be there fully inhabiting their characters and, you know, just gelling with each other. So it was, it was, it was really, you know, exciting as like my first, my first big movie. And, and just to pay you, pay him a compliment for a second, it seemed effortless when you watch it, but like to get that kind of nuanced performances from a large cast um, is hard. And you did that. Amazing cast. The cast in this just hit it out of the park, like unbelievable cast. Oh, okay. I just wanted to also say, Henry, very quickly, too, um, you know, we've talked about, like, it's a great time for horror films as well. Specifically now, it's a great time for Netflix horror films. There's been a lot of amazing Netflix horror films. How does it feel to be, to kind of keep the momentum going with this film and be part of this big crop of amazing horror um, stuff happening for Netflix? I mean, it feels great. I mean, I, I, I think, I think I had, I had so much fun with the release strategy of Fear Street. I never had that before. I have a baby, but I was still like, I'm going to watch it each Friday when they come out. Like, <laughs> well, it's so fun. Um, so no, it's a, it's a thrill to be part of that. Patrick, Henry, I want to thank you both for coming on Pop Alternative. Congrats with this film. Everyone's going to be able to see it October 6th on Netflix, part of Netflix and Chills. Thank you both for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Take care, Good man. To meet you. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Alternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.